What's up, YouTube? It's Ghostwriter15 here, back at it again with another Edison format video. And today's video is going to be my top 8 Blackwing list that I used to get top 8 at the most recent Format Library EWCQ Championship Tournament. So I decided to play Black Wings. This is my first time topping an event without dragons. I just wanted to try something else. Like I, It's not that I think dragons are bad or anything. I just wanted to actually use something different for once. And I decided to go with Black Wings because that's the deck that I'm most familiar with, most comfortable with, besides dragons. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into the deck list. I play a 3 Sirocco. This card's amazing. You have to play 3. 3 Shura. Staple as well. 3 Kalut. Staple. 3 Blizzard. Some play 2, but I think 3 is way better. 2 Vayu. This one I wasn't 100% sure on. Because like you really don't want to draw it, but it is the best Icarus attack target. And there are times where... You have something like Royal Oppression, and you're trying to summon Blizzard, and you have a Whirlwind on field. So you want to be able to go with Chainlink to Whirlwind, so you can still resolve the Blizzard. Uh, so this is probably going to be the most controversial one, the hottest take of this deck list. I'm only playing one Bora. Personally, I think Bora is kind of mid. Like, it's not really too good in my opinion. It's only 1700 attack. The effect to do piercing damage is only really strong in like the quick draw matchup. And um, yeah, I just actually think that it's not that good in my opinion. Uh, I'm only playing one Gale because it's limited, of course. Um, one Dark Arm. It's Dark Arm. You have to play Dark Arm. Then for the spells. Three upstart. If I can play upstart at three in a, in a format, I'm gonna play it at three. So I'm playing it at three. I think it's important to have consistency. Two whirlwind because this is the best card in this deck. Makes all your black wings gadget monsters, and this if if your opponent can't get rid of this card after it resolves like twice, the game's pretty much over. And then one Dark Eruption. This is my spicy tech of the list. Uh, so instead of another copy of Bora, I opted to play the Dark Eruption so I can get back a fourth copy of Blizzard, a fourth copy of Kalut, or a second copy of Gale. Uh, in my opinion, there's going to be more situations where you prefer to have those cards over another copy of Bora. So that's why I decided to play the Dark Eruption instead. And then one alert because draw power is amazing. I love it. More consistency. One brain control because it's brain control. It steals games. And then heavy MST. Staple back or removal. And onto the traps. I play three Icarus attack because Icarus attack is sort of like your Gemini spark of your deck. Because like it's an easy way to get a plus one when you bait out certain traps. And then you pop two other cards. Two Deep Prison. I really wanted to play three. I really like this card, but because I am playing the draw power, I had to make space for all of that. So I'm only playing two. Two Legacy of Yada Garasus. I actually wanted to play three of this, but I just couldn't find anything I wanted to cut. Maybe I can probably cut like an MST and put it on the side. That way I play three Yadas. But overall this card was great. It baited out Heavy Storm a couple of times. I like it. Two Bottomless. It's Bottomless. Pretty much a staple. Two Oppressions. Um, so I know most lists only play one Oppression in the main or none at all. I just think Oppression is too strong not to main deck. If if you can play two, I think you should. I, I know it's not great in the mirror or against Vayu Turbo, but against basically everything else, it's amazing. And then one Solemn, one Dust Shoot, pretty much staples. 
On to the side, uh, two Cyber Dragons for decks like Hero Beat, the Mirror Match uh, against Machine Decks. And then two DD Crows. This card was actually kind of subpar. I don't really like it too much. Like against Vayu Turbo, sure, you banish the Vayu or the Sirocco. But Compulse just does the job better. And against Frogs, it's very subpar. Like, sure, you banish one, one Treeborn. They still have another one. So unless you have both DD Crows in your hand, it's not really that good. Plus, you're going neck two to get rid of the, the Treeborn. So you're still going to be at a disadvantage some way. Uh, two Deck Devies. This was actually a bit subpar as well. Like, I don't have a way to instantly make a 2,000 or higher attack Dark Monster going first. So, this is actually better, way better in my opinion, if you're playing Value Turbo compared to Pure Blackwing. So, I don't know, it wasn't that good. 3 pulling the Rug. Uh, this was decent. But there are also times where it was pretty bad, like, for example, when my opponent would go Substitute and Tribute to Special Summon Swap Frog, now I can't even use the Pulling the Rug because it wasn't special, or it wasn't Normal Summon, it was Special Summon. And then they, ha they also have access to Unifrog to pop this before they Tribute Summon. So, I don't know, I really didn't like it. I think I have to come up with a different game plan for the Frog matchup. And then I played three Noblemen of Crossouts. In testing, this card was amazing against uh, any deck that plays like Raikou and Hamster. Especially Vayu Turbo. Because uh, against Vayu Turbo, they really rely on their they really rely on their mills. So I really like this card. And then the next card on the list is Noblemen of Extermination. Um I remember for a while there was a Blackwing list. They called it like Swedish Blackwings or something like that. And it was playing three copies of Extermination in Blackwings. So I decided to give this card a try. And I didn't like it in the main deck. But I do like it in the side deck for when you're going second. Blackwings gain advantage from the battle phase with cards like uh, Shura. Or if you have a Sirocco, because Sirocco basically beats over any normal summon. So if you have Noblemen of Extermination, you can pretty much get rid of any back row and do what you got to do. That's it for the side. Now for the extra deck is one Cataster, one Android, one Goyo, one Brio, two Armed Wing. And then I'm playing two Armor Master. I've, I've seen that most lists only play one, but because I am playing the double value, this can come up. So I played the double Armor Master. One Black Rose, one Stardust, one Colossal, one Dark End, one Thought Ruler, one Silver Wind, and one uh, Fortress because I play Cyber Dragon. The extra deck is pretty standard stuff. There's not much else to explain about this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the list I used to get top 8 out of about 105 players, I believe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. This is Ghost Rider 15 signing out.